Yeah, so these two abstracts were biomarker analyses from two large randomized trials which established standard of care regimens in the first line metastatic setting. CLEAR established lenvatinib plus pembrolizumab, while Keynote 426 established axitinib plus pembrolizumab. These two abstracts ask the important question of whether we can identify subsets of patients which benefit more from IOTKI combination therapies versus the old standard of care of sunitinib. And what we learned from these abstracts was that they examined PDL1 expression as well as gene mutations and transcriptomic signatures. It turns out that, uh, that biomarkers remains a really challenging field in the first line kidney cancer setting. For example, PDL1 biomarkers and tumor mutations didn't really differentiate between people who benefited from combination therapies versus single agent sunitinib. Similarly, transcriptomic signatures show some really interesting signals where there were some subsets who did seem to have a little bit more benefit or less benefit from immunotherapy versus TKIs. But across the board, the combination arm still did better. So my takeaway from these two abstracts is that we've learned a lot biologically, but in the clinic tomorrow, I'm still gonna treat patients with combination therapy and no patients based on these abstracts were disqualified from combination therapy.